Now, next Bodhisattva named Maitreya, Maitreya Bodhisattva, arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, I remember when, as many cowboys ago, as there are five modes of dust. Oh, it's a change. It's not against the river sand anymore. <laughs> it's good. A Buddha named Light of Sun, Moon, and Lamp. Oh, there's so many lights, Sun, Moon, and Lamp. Uh, in the old time, they have great names, eh? auspicious names. Appeared in the world. Under that Buddha, I left the home life, yet I was deeply committed to worldly fame and liked to fraternize with people of good family, buddy buddies, with influential people, instead of one pointedness, listening or practicing the Buddha's teaching. He's still buddy buddy with <laughs> powerful people and get influence or some good things. Then the world honor one, I mean that Buddha. Then the world honor one taught me to cultivate consciousness, only concentration, just consciousness. And I enter that samadhi. For many aeons I have made use of that samadhi as I perform deeds, as many Buddhas as there are sands in the Ganges River. My seeking for worldly name and fame ceased completely and never recurred, purified, done with the worldly fame. When Burning Lamb Buddha appeared in the world, I finally accomplished the unsurpassed, wonderful, perfect samadhi of consciousness. I went on until to the ends of emptiness, all the lands of the thirst come one, whether pure or defied, existent or non-existent, were transformations appearing from within my own mind. Yeah, all the universe he realized inside him. Were honor one, he addressed the Buddha now, were honored one, because I understand consciousness only thus, the nature of consciousness reveals limitless thus come ones. Now I have received the prediction that I will be the next to take the Buddha's place. Wow. The Buddha asked about perfect penetration. I was intent upon the contemplation that the ten directions come only from consciousness, only from your own yeah, consciousness. When the conscious mind is perfect and bright, one enters the perfection of the real. One leaves behind reliance on others and attachment to incessant calculating and attains the patience with the non-existence of beings and phenomena. This is the foremost method. Okay, there's a lot of philosophical talk. Just mean he attained enlightenment, okay? <laughs> Simple, clear. So for him, that is the best method, cultivate consciousness. Next, Dharma Prince, great strength. Together with 52 bodhisattvas of similar rank, arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, I remember when, as many as Kaupas and... <laughs> okay, <laughs> good, you have good memory. <laughs> so, as many aeons ago, as there are sands in the Ganges, yes. a Buddha called Limitless Light appeared in the world. In the same aeon, there were twelve successive thirst come ones. Oh, in the same aeons, not the same time, huh? Aeon, a oh, long, long time. Okay, so the twelve Buddhas have appeared in the world together with this Buddha, all together, thirteen Buddhas appeared in one aeon. So how many hundreds of thousand years one Buddha come? A lot, a lot. Eh? Not like every thousand years one Buddha come, eh? not necessary. Yeah, maybe teacher teaches a method, but not master. It's a different story, okay? Different story.
Uh, the last of these successive first come ones name light surpassing the sun and moon. Wow. So if you see this Buddha, maybe you have to cover yourself <laughs> because his light is even brighter than the sun. We could hardly look at the sun already. If he is brighter than the sun, what do we do? Huh? Go see the Buddha, buy sunglasses. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> Still must go see him, okay? Buy sunglasses and shade yourself. <laughs> Buddha, are you still there? <laughs> that Buddha taught me the Buddha recitation samadhi. Just like nowadays, uh, the uh, lotus sect you know, of the Buddhism, the Zen sect of Buddhism, they keep repeating something. Or uh, they repeat the name of Amitabha Buddha, yeah? Yeah. And that is called Buddha's name recitation. And then you can enter Samadhi, supposed to be, yeah, like, like here. Suppose there were a person who always remembers someone else, but someone else he remembers has entirely forgotten about him. If two such people were to meet, even if they were to see each other, they would not take notice. They would not recognize each other. If two people remember each other until the memory of each is deep, then in life after life, they will be together like a form and its shadow, and they will never be at odds with each other. Out of pity for living beings, the thus come ones of the ten directions are mindful of them, as a mother remembers her child. If the child runs away, of what use is the mother's regard? But if the child remembers his mother in the same way that the mother remembers the child, then in life after life the mother and child will not be far apart. If living beings remember the Buddha and are mindful of the Buddha, certainly they will see the Buddha now or in the future. They will never be far from the Buddha, and their minds will awaken by themselves without the aids of expedience. A person who has been near incense will carry a fragrance on his person. It is the same in this case. It is called an adornment of fragrant light. On the causal ground, I used mindfulness of the Buddha to enter into patience with the non-existence of beings and phenomena. Sometimes in the ancient time they use different expression that we don't. Uh, it's difficult to translate. <laughs> now in this world I gather whatever it is is you know enlightened. Okay, just enlightened. Now in this world I gather in all those who are mindful of the Buddha and bring them back to the pure land. The Buddha asks about perfect penetration, I would select none other than gathering in the six organs through continuous pure mindfulness to obtain samadhi. This is a foremost method. Whatever it is, you don't want to practice, right? So we don't need to explain. Yeah, Just make more, <laughs> more, more crowded your mind. So because uh, he attained enlightenment, eh? he could even take other beings, you know, and help them to go to pure land, liberated as well. Not bad. Whatever method that was, he was enlightened enough hmm, to take some people with him, some soul, you know, back to the Buddha's land. So he thinks that is the best method. Eh? Gathering in the six organs through continuous pure mindfulness, meaning it's just transfer, you know, all the feeling from any organs in his body and just all concentrate, you know. Instead of paying attention to the heart pumping or the liver pinching or um, the uh, blood coursing through his body, through his lung or whatever, you know, he just transform them all into a pure one-pointed concentration. Then he attains samadhi and get this power. So for him, you know, transforming, gathering all the 
organs together into one pointedness. That is the best method. Then, ah, we are almost at the end now. One seeing Bodhisattva, we at the end now. Yeah, but there's a calendar coming <laughs> <laughs> from her power. <laughs> yeah, pay attention, huh? Kwaning Bodhisattva, important VIP here, yeah? And she will tell you the benefit of practicing Kwaning method, okay? Not just why, but how she get power and what she can do with that power to help whom, whom, where, where, how, how, okay? Right. Important, listen. Kwaning Bodhisattva arose from his seat. Here he's a man. <laughs> In Asian, mostly when we talk about Kwan Yin Bodhisattva, we always imagine as a lady, because when she was known to us, she was a lady. Hmm? Through some legend, yeah, she became Bodhisattva through a female form. Yeah. Uh, and she appeared to most of the uh, disciples at that time, or up to Buddha time, in a female form, hmm? adorned with uh, dignified, dress and, and uh, a bottle of water <laughs> and a twig of uh, willow to purify you with the water. Yeah, that's what she known in China and in Vietnam also. Mm. But here, in India at that time, as a he, yeah? So the Kwan Xing Bodhisattva arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet and said to the Buddha, World honored one, I remember when, as many kalpas as there are sands in the Ganges River. Wow, God, you are good. <laughs> <laughs> you pass your exam any time. <laughs> there was a Buddha in the world named contemplating the world's sounds, the sounds of the world, sounds, many sounds. It was under that Buddha that I brought forth the Bodhi resolve, I mean, she decided she want to attain Bodhi, to attain enlightenment, attain Buddhahood, yeah. uh, Bodhi wisdom. Yeah. That Buddha taught me to enter Samadhi through a process of hearing and reflecting. Initially, I entered the flow through hearing and forgot objective state since the sense objects and sense organs were quiet, the two characteristics of movement and stillness crystallized and did not arise. After that, gradually advancing, the hearing and what was heard both disappeared. Once the hearing was ended, there was nothing to rely on, and awareness and the objects of awareness became empty. When the emptiness of awareness reached an ultimate perfection, emptiness and what was being empty then also ceased to be. Since production and extinction were gone, still extinction was revealed, still in, tranquil. Suddenly I transcended the mundane and transcendental worlds and threw out the ten directions, a perfect, brightness prevailed. I obtained two supreme states. First, I was united above with the fundamental, wonderfully enlightened mind of all the Buddhas of the Ten Directions, and I gained a strength of compassion equal to that of all the Buddhas, the thirst come ones. Wow, incredible. Through hearing only. Yeah. Contemplating the word sounds doesn't mean doesn't mean the worldly sounds, yeah? Mm. Because in the Diamond Sutra, the Buddha also reminds the practitioners that if you rely on on sounds or forms to reach uh, enlightenment, then you will never see Buddha. He means a normal light, a normal sound here, yeah? And the form meaning maybe you just uh, rely on the the Buddha's form, the statues, something like that, or chanting or whatever that make noise. Yeah, you won't 
be able to attain Buddhahood. That's what he meant. In the Diamond Sutra is another sutra, very famous Diamond Sutra. Because the Buddha taught uh, Kwan Yin Bodhisattva at that time to enter samadhi through a process of hearing and reflecting. If you keep concentrating and hearing the outer sound, there's no way you enter samadhi. If the Buddha tells you continue to hear the sound around you, then it cannot be that he can enter samadhi and reflecting as well, contemplating on that sound. So that's not the sound that we hear normally. But he, the Kwan Yin Bodhisattva, attained two supreme states, and then he was united with all the Buddhas in the Ten Direction and be able to make use of the transference of compassion and the transference of uh, strength yeah, from all the Ten Directions Buddhas. If you are one with the Master, or the master of all the ten direction. Of course, you share their quality. Yeah, whatever they have, you have, because you become one with the Buddhas, with the masters. Therefore, she has all the compassion, the strength of compassion equal to that of all the Buddhas. At that time, she became one. She lost herself already. He lost himself. Lost the ego self. That was the first power that. Kwan uh, Bodhisattva gain through the hearing method. Second, the second power he gained. Second, I was united below with all living beings in the six paths, and I gained a kind regard for all living beings equally. On the upper, he connected with all the Buddhas and has all their power of compassion. And then on the second power is that he also connected with the lower level meaning all beings in the six paths of existence, namely health, health ghosts, ghost, ghost, vicious animal, asura, asura human, human, six paths, what is Korea? Mm. Tian Ren, Ren uh, Asura, 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 Miss, you miss one. Okay, never mind. You you done well for your age. <laughs> you better than me. <laughs> We're both old, you know. We don't remember. We have to ask younger people. <laughs> it's translated as heaven, human, asura, hungry ghost, hell, uh, animals, uh, whatever. We're not mm, interested. <laughs> we don't want. <laughs> we don't want to even remember anything. Okay, these things no good for us. We have no relation. <laughs> Just get lost. <laughs> All right. When they say heaven, doesn't mean high heaven. It could be the heaven of the thirty-three. It could be the heaven of the chakra. God, you know, the naughty one, always making trouble for the master and the practitioner. Huh? These are also heaven, but we don't even want that kind of heaven. They are short-lived. Yeah and they're not worthy of our attention or desire to go there. Mostly when a practitioner begins on his uh, true-seeking path, these kind of gods from these kind of heaven always come around and try to test them and make it trouble for them, because they worry. Therefore, no? Kwan Yin Bodhisattva, because of the Kwan Yin practice, she can unite with all the Buddha as well as the suffering beings from the low heaven down to the hell. That's what he said. <laughs> 